first time feeling cold air. In months. <laughs> Where are we, baby? Uh, Japan. Japan. <laughs> Konnichiwa from Japan. I don't know if we were totally prepared to be in Japan, uh, culture shock wise. Uh, we show up to this foreign land and we don't speak a, a lick of Japanese. So we get off the airplane and we're walking through the airport and everything is covered in Nintendo and <laughs> Mario Brothers and Pokemon and all of that stuff. There's like giant statues of Mario just in the middle of the airport. Yeah. <laughs> we actually started Japan kind of at the start of when things were getting crazy with the coronavirus and so we were starting to make the decision of whether or not we wanted to go home, stay around, and it was also when things in the country started shutting down. So at this point, um, there weren't a lot of people or tourists in the touristy concentrated areas. So our first stop in Japan was Osaka. So from Osaka we took a train to Kyoto and Kyoto was probably one of our favorite stops in Japan. Um, there was some really cool towns and just little traditional villages and stuff like that we love to uh, uh, explore. Yeah, we really wanted to get a good authentic Japanese culture and I felt like Kyoto was probably the perfect place to do that because we were able to rent uh, kimono and I'll be honest because I was kind of nervous being a blonde white American. I was like, oh, is this fine? But honestly, they loved it. And we never felt more included in their culture from when we were wearing the kimonos. So that was fun. Plus, we also got to see the Samurai and Ninja Museum, and it was so cool to have the boys get up in the, the ninja and samurai garb and learn how to throw ninja stars and just learn about, you know, samurais and Japanese ninja culture. Do you remember when Bo was standing there with his little stars and he was like, Pachoo! and it like didn't even get close. <laughs> oh, yeah. He turns around and is yeah. like, <laughs> onto the ground. Yeah. But Theo got to be completely... Uh, garbed up and he's wanted to be a ninja ever since. <laughs> Thank you.
numerous kinds of disease Have you ever wondered if every country has ninjas and we only know about the <laughs> Japanese ones because they're not very good at hiding? <laughs> okay, I thought you were going to say something super serious. <laughs> Our third and final destination in Japan was Tokyo and that was just completely different from Kyoto because it was very modern, full of lights and full of color and um, it was really fun. I loved the lights and I loved the big city and I've seen Tokyo and tons of movies and Fast and Furious <laughs> and furious. stuff like that and <laughs> it was kind of cool to see it in person and um, it was kind of fun that amidst the coronavirus pandemic there was parties in the streets and dancing and live entertainment and stuff and I, we had a blast. This is also where we got to we had a plan. It was just a really good time. They say love like this comes once in a lifetime. For the first time I believe it to be true. All of my friends say when you know you know every piece of the Devin place was come back later. <laughs> sets me free
sets me free. So this is also where we got to do mystery trip. Mystery trip. <laughs> So a mystery trip was initially supposed to be Disneyland. Obviously that just didn't work out, but we did get to do this thing called Robot Restaurants. <laughs> and we're still not sure how we feel about it. <laughs> well, we're signing up on the website and it's like, oh, be careful, you can't go to this time because kids aren't allowed because of, it's basically like erotic entertainment and then other times it says it's okay to bring kids, but beware because girls are still bikini clad. So, so we were like terrified to, what are we showing our kids right now? <laughs> mystery trip at the robot restaurant. You be the judge. Hey, we're going on a mystery trip. Theo doesn't know what we're doing. grateful that we were able to make Japan our last stop before the world shut down. Um, we learned a lot and we really appreciate the experience that we had. Bye Japan! We love you!